Aloha from Mount Shasta. Actually, I'm in Dunsmuir. It's midnight, and I'm at the train station in the rain. Dunsmuir is a sleepy little town that I am the only person in the train station. <laughs> so there's nothing else to do but wait for the train for an entire hour. My friend drove me. Thank you, Sh Sh Shiana. Sh Shania. <laughs> She's a new friend. Anyway, um, so I wanted to tell you about the best things to do in Mount Shasta. This trip was amazing. I really, this is my favorite trip, I think, so far. We got to go to the hot springs, Shania and I went. And um, I got to go to the St. Germain Foundation, little yellow and white house on the main street. I got to check out the downtown and go to different places there. There's the, um, there's such a great vibe in Mount Shasta City. Every, almost everywhere you look, you can see Shasta just sitting up there in front of you, and you get the vibes of that mountain. That's why I decided that I would lead a photo safari here, and we already have people coming uh, first weekend in April. So check it out, April 7th, 8th, 9th. More information below. Um, we're going to have so much fun. And then there's Lake Siskiyou, which is an incredibly beautiful lake with uh, Alpine Lake with trees surrounding it. And let's see. Oh, and I loved Shasta Abbey. That was really a remarkable retreat. It's a meditation retreat with Zen Buddhist monks, and uh, most of them are women, and they've been there since the 70s. These guys are wise. Um, so I was there three nights, and then I got to be uh, visit my friend Jimmy, um, who's more than a friend. He's a special guy, and we had a good time together. So, wow, it's just been packed every day. It's been two weeks. Oh, my gosh. I've never spent two weeks up in Shasta, and every single day I felt that I was falling more in love with it. Um and I feel like coming right back. So I'm taking the train back down to San Francisco. We've got work to do down there. And um, yes, please do come to the uh, weekend. There's, it's going to be private one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, there's one person so far, three more spots. And we're going to go photograph. I'll show you my secret places where I get amazing pictures. And you're going to get them too. Any camera you have doesn't have to be a fancy, expensive one. You can bring your iPhone. Of course, those are pretty expensive, too. <laughs> but it doesn't matter what kind of camera you have. You're going to get amazing pictures. I'll show you how to do it. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun. And it's not, it's not hard to do any of this stuff physically. So if you're concerned about that, the walking is all going to be flat, um, some of it will be at the lake, but it's not anything like up a steep hill or anything like that. It's real easy. And there's great places to go right downtown. Breakfast is included. Um, I'm recommending uh, Strawberry Valley Inn, Shasta Inn, and um, my friend's place that I stayed for a, a week. Airbnb, private cozy room in downtown. And, and you can walk to everything. That's what I love about this. You can walk to everything that you need, restaurants, grocery store, post office. You can walk to everything. I love downtown Mount Shasta, but probably most of you will have a car, and then, you know, it's that's the best way to get to the hot springs in the lake, but it's all close. It's not like you have to be in the car for an hour. It's all right here, people. So, those are my favorite things to do, and this is in the dead of winter, um, but there should be flowers starting to come out, blossoms and snow melting. You never know, though. It could be a big snowstorm, um, but it's beautiful weather now. It's raining. It did have the uh, five feet of snow, but that was two weeks ago. 
<laughs> I'm not expecting that for our event. Anyway, many blessings to you. Thank you for sharing and commenting. And join me in Mount Shasta. This place is so stunning. It's astonishing, really. It hasn't changed in 10 years. I've been coming up here, and it's just as good, if not better, so call me, check it out. Any questions? Uh, let's have some fun. April 7th, 8th, and 9th. One more thing. I forgot to tell you, the best water in the world is here in Shasta. The taste of it will knock your socks off. This is the most clear, cold, pristine water you've ever tasted in your life. I defy anyone to find any better water. So come on up and join me. This is the water. Wow. Woo. Hey, join us in Mount Shasta if you want an amazing escape from the city. This place is magic. April 7th, 8th, and 9th. All the information is below. Come and discover one of the most amazing places in the world.